so what is this gram staining gram staining is a technique which was developed by krishan gram it is a technique developed by krishan gram right so what is a staining technique staining means to color something okay to color something which is not visible to our naked eye so we color that structure and we observe that structure under microscope so staining is coloring basically staining is coloring to color any biological material yeah uh, just uh, remember that gram staining is given by christian gram right because it is after a name of scientist so stain he used was stain or color that he used was crystal violet the name of the stain is crystal violet or also known as gentian violet so whether you use, uh, use crystal violet or gentian violet so important thing is to remember crystal violet that is a more common term we used for the stain next is the procedure so first you guys have to uh, know the procedure then you will understand that why these two type of bacteria are differentiated on the basis of gram staining so procedure first procedure is this is a glass slide so everybody know what is a glass slide okay a rectangular glass structure glass slide is a just a rectangular structure of glass on which we put our biological material and observe it under microscope right so now we have to observe bacteria so what we can do we can put the bacteria yeah it is transparent we will put the bacteria in the slide and just spread it to form a thin layer of bacteria so this is this is a thin layer of bacteria which is also known as bacterial smear the thin layer of bacteria is also known as bacterial smear right second is now when a thin layer of bacteria is prepared then we will stain it with crystal violet we will just a few drops of crystal violet now what will happen when we put the few drops of crystal violet then all the bacteria will turn violet blue right all the bacteria will turn blue because we have colored the bacteria so now all the bacteria i will write it again that all the bacteria will turn violet so any doubt till here any doubt any kind of doubt any kind of doubt good so uh, we have taken a bacteria in the slide okay then we have we are staining it with crystal violet and now all the bacteria turn violet 
now, but in the further procedure. So first, quickly write it down. Then I will tell you further procedure. Yes, Ramsha. Uh, actually, there are two layer of amino acid which links the sugar. So basically, I was not uh, I was not mentioning any detail of cell wall structure. I just wanted you to know that sugar polymer is linked by amino acid. That's it, right? Lysine is a amino acid. It's a name of amino acid. So can I change the slide? Okay. Then Third procedure is now. We are making a thin layer so that it can dry easily. It can dry easily and the stain will spread easily. Add a few drops of iodine. Now, what is the function of iodine here? Iodine fixes the stain where the stain is there. Okay, so it fixes the stain at its position. It fixes the stain. Okay, so where the stain is, it will fix the stain there. So iodine is known as fixer here or mordant, which means the same. Either fixer, we call it fixer or mordant because it fixes the stain. So after a few drop of, I think few drop of iodine, there's a formation of a complex. So which means iodine form a complex with crystal violet. There's a formation of crystal violet iodine complex, which means iodine combines with crystal violet and makes a complex. which is also known as CBI complex. And after this, fourth is now treatment with alcohol. We will treat the bacteria with alcohol. So what happened here is, now, we are not looking for a reason because we are studying only procedure. So what is the reason we will be studying in next topic? Now, just focus on the procedure that after the treatment, he found that some of the bacteria, they are still appearing blue. Some of the bacteria are appearing blue, but some of the bacteria become colorless. Some of the bacteria become colorless. So some bacteria remain violet, whereas some bacteria become colorless. So why did it happen? We will discuss it later. So for the time being, just remember that some bacteria remain violet and some bacteria become colorless. Some bacteria become colorless. Okay. So treatment with alcohol results into the, uh, that result into a thing that some bacteria remain violet and some bacteria become colorless. So uh, now how can we see the colorless bacteria? Can you guys suggest me? How can we see the bacteria which have become colorless? Simple method, we can color it with 
another color we can stain it with another color we can use any other color so we will use safranin which is red or pink so that we can see that bacteria separately so next is to stain the bacteria which become colorless with a, another stain which is safranin red or pink so write it down then i will change the slide Okay. Now, staining with safranin. Staining with safranin, which is a red, pink stain, which is a red, pink stain. So now some of the bacteria you will see as violet. And some of the bacteria you will be seeing as pink. Right? Pink or red. So violet bacteria. Violet is darker than the red or pink. So there will be no change in, the, uh, in those type of bacteria. So violet bacteria is gram positive. And red or pink bacteria is gram negative. So here we can clearly see that those bacteria which retain the color are gram positive and which did not retain the color, we have to stain them again. They are gram negative because they have given the negative test. They have given the negative test, right? So this is just a procedure. Now we are going to study how, uh, why this happened, how this happened, what that alcohol uh, does. So note it down then we, we will be learning the difference between gram positive and gram negative. Okay, now let's just have the difference between gram positive and gram negative. So here gram positive bacteria. And here gram negative. So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the difference between the structure of gram positive and gram negative. So please uh, just observe it and tell me what is the difference. This is the cell wall and this is the plasma membrane. This is the plasma membrane. 
and this is glycocalyx in gram positive bacteria uh, so this is the thick cell wall so i'm going to write in a short form that this is plasma membrane this is cell wall and this is glycocalyx right guys already studied this there are three layers upper one is glycocalyx and cell wall then plasma membrane now what is the different in uh, gram negative the twist is here in gram negative the cell wall is not thick as gram positive this is plasma membrane and there is a special layer there is a special layer which is known as lps then glycocalyx come this is glycocalyx so basically this is plasma membrane this is cell wall this is lps layer and what is lps i'm going to tell you this is lps layer and this is glycocalyx so guys you can see the first difference which i'm going to write that here lps is absent right here lps is absent and lps is the outer layer outer wall or outer membrane lps is the outer wall or outer layer here we can clearly see that lps is present over cell wall so what is this lps lps is lipopolysaccharide basically a layer of lipid and sugar lipopolysaccharide means lipids and sugar so just listen to me carefully alcohol dissolves lipid alcohol dissolves lipid so in gram negative bacteria alcohol will remove the lps layer so what will happen if alcohol will remove the lps layer what will happen can you anyone tell me alcohol dissolves lps layer and if it dissolves L lps layer then stain could easily escape stain could easily escape as you can see the cell wall is very thin the cell wall is thin the cell wall is thin as compared to gram positive so alcohol jo hai the alcohol treatment dissolves away the lps layer dissolves away the lps layer and when the lps layer is removed so that the envelope the cell envelope become thin and stain could easily escape but here you can see the cell wall is thick cell wall is thick it won't allow stain to go but in gram negative cell wall is thin and if L lps is removed then it will be easier for stain to to be to be escaped from the cell to be escaped from the cell that's why gram negative bacteria they become colorless because after the removal of lps layer stain could easily escape is this clear is this clear guys raise your hand so or say yes ma'am no ma'am anything okay so write it down then we will learn further differences we will learn further differences <laughs> 